I need to make a path up this way. Let's die. Okay, wood, yay, wood. I'm trying to run from you, I don't care. I just need to go get some food. Wow. Yeah, 360 to kill that guy. Okay, let's put some of the stuff away. I put my arm down. Uh, asshole throwing stuff at me. That there, just seeing what I have, what I need. <laughs> I definitely needed meat. I was ignoring all the other meat, wasn't I? We probably don't have any. Okay, we got all that. I think there's a blood sack somewhere else. That's where I saw it. There's the blood sack. There's the daisy. There's the puke berries. All right, so. What we want to do is we want to take this. I think I'm done with my pitchfork for a while. Actually, I actually don't use this. Let's play around with this for a sec. All right. 
Actually, I, I think some of this stuff will get caught. Let's see where it rolls. Nice. Okay. What am I carrying too much of? Alright, that's good for now. Okay, we'll come back up here and get some more wood. But, let's just break these since I'm here. Like, I can't see because of the grass. Oh, I put it away. Because I keep falling in the water. Excuse me. No workbench. Well, it won't go down in the ground. Okay, so we need this pitch pickaxe. Actually, maybe we don't. Maybe if I go like this and I go smaller one. Got all those. Got that support. We just need these corners over here. I need to do these guys.
Like it's going too good. We definitely need to put stairs here as well. You freaking serious. trying to do stuff. Keep forgetting to do this. I don't have a shelter. I'm gonna go through hammers left and right. I need to stop doing that. Alright, so do this.
How did your video go? I did my video go? Yeah. Um, what video? You what? That you made the other night. Oh, I I didn't continue it. I watched YouTube instead. <laughs> How was your sleep? Good. Good. Grab that. I'm gonna grab that. She's in pain pills. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You say something to me? Yeah, how goes your new home? Oh, uh, good. I'm not doing anything, I'm just killing things. Saxon was on. I got him to join. Nice. Checking out your base. Yeah, he found a place he wants to build. I I haven't been playing for a long time, you know. I'm not addicted. Then where is he putting his? I'm not judging. Well, I don't I don't know where he's putting his. I I didn't even pay attention. He said it was kind of by you. Probably because of the traders over there. I think he said. Trader is over here. Yeah. But I've been. He didn't play. He he didn't play for two hours. He played for like. 30 minutes. Okay. I don't know what what he did. Sam got on, so they went off to go play a game. As boyfriends and girlfriends should do. Fair enough. When they live so far away from each other. Same lady last time, right? Just so FYI, it's kind of hard to hear you. It's hard to hear me? Oh, now I can totally hear you. Thank you. Yeah, I think. Oh, that's no, that's okay. I just couldn't hear what you were saying. No, you're fine. So, is Sam the same one who was with last time? Yes. Okay. Like eight years or something. Nice. Yeah, I've just been killing things. I'm not building anything at all. 
Okie dokie. Leveling up my character. I need... Oh, yeah, the work match. So this, this dock area is definitely not any part of a building, right? Oops, I just got here and I discovered it like this. That's that's always handy. I thought about Pete's and then Saxon and I were talking and Saxon had a dock and I was like, I really like your dock and Pete has a good one. And I was like, there's three boats over here, so I need to get them. I'm going to lower the docks probably so we can get to the boats, but that's a different story. All right. There's about to be two boats. No worries. But this boat's hurt, so apparently I have to drag it over towards a work pitch. Yeah, I see that you had one on the shore over there. I moved this one closer, too. Because it was right at the bridge at the beginning. One of these boats should have my food in it. Does your food get eaten? Um, yeah, it should be. The boat closest to me had the wood in it. Don't know about the other two boats. That's all right. Because I have... I'll be going. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, because I haven't been on them. Can I tell you which one does? No worries. Yeah, Saxon said he'd be on later tonight. He got excited. He was, I was talking about it, what we did, and he was like, now I want to play. And then he was showing me his worlds. That'll be cool. Holy crap. Hope so if I eat. Yeah, I didn't. Useful, yeah. Yeah. I didn't even try to tame those wolves last night, and then I just sat out in the server all night. Did you find your food one? No, I'm just going to take whatever one this one is. Okay. I bet it's this one over here. To find out. Let's see. Uh, this one has all the weapons. Oh, and like the Fenris armor and shit? Uh, let's see what's in there. Cultivator, the him and whatever that spear you have you use all the time. Scap, scrap iron, scrap iron. Oh, uh, wolf jerky. Serpent meat. Ruby. Uh, maybe, okay, maybe two weapons are in here. It's always good to have spares just in case something goes wrong. Yeah. So when you're in the water and you're pounding with a hoe, or you're digging with an axe to make it go down. Pickaxe. Ah, uh, okay. I tried the hoe at, at one time and it kept bringing the gr ground up and down. It kind of leveled it out. It didn't go down anymore. I was like, okay. I was just curious. Yeah, so the pickaxe or the, the hoe when you're doing a level, basing off the height that you're at when you do the level. Okay. So if you're higher than the ground currently is, i.e. you're above the water. Yeah. It will try to bring it as high as it can 
within a certain margin. I see. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't expect you guys to swim over here and get me after Kevin went out to the water. I apparently upset them. Yeah, you're all good. I just didn't expect it. There's a white wraith flying around there too, so... Yeah, they didn't bug me at all. That's why I was I was just shocked by it. I've been going for like three hours. Nice. So we want to do this. Kevin gets in here and then all the animals attack me. What was a deaf mosquito? They're old deaf mosquitoes. Yep, it's dead. The needles they drop you use to make the porcupine mace. Oh, cool. And needle arrows. The needle arrows would definitely come in handy. Good arrows. So core wood underneath the dock supported it? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. As long as it's actually touching the ground. Yeah, it is. Is he, is he even close to what I want? I was just curious. Mm hmm If you, uh, you really feel like trying to push your dock way out. Yeah. Try to raise the land as far as you can. Like, even make, like, a, a raft. Kind of sail out and use your hoe and try to get as close as you can to the water and raise the actual seabed as high as you can. Like, starting back at your area, you raise it high. And work forward, work forward, work forward, work forward, work forward, work forward. Okay. And that way, you can potentially reach to put core wood and whatnot down there. Nice, I like that. Okay. I've just had too many times to keep hitting, hit, hitting Q. I've been doing that, like... A lot today instead of W. Gotcha. I'll be like working on something. I walk off the dock. <laughs> I was concentrating on getting back out of the water, but okay, cool. So take a raft, take it out there, raise the water. Okay. Yeah, you use your hoe. The tide changes too, right? Uh huh. Okay, cool. And if a storm comes in, he levels go ape shit. Cool. I don't want to flatten that too much. I might not be done down there.
Oh, I'm in the way. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, I brought the boat in, and then I was in the way. Now the boat's in the way. I figure I was tall enough or short enough down here to put this, but it kept messing up. Gotcha. That's all. Let's see, I have four wood on me. Awesome. It just I'm running out of room t by the water. Yeah. Fair enough. I'm just trying to make things, squeeze things in here. I, di I didn't, you might have told me I didn't know, or maybe I wasn't listening. I didn't know the hoe could make uh, gravel paths. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever told you. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do that up to the my base after I'm done down here. Here's one thing I thought you'd be. You thought what? Oh, I'm so sad. They always attack me when I'm heavy. Right. Do you say there's something that I need? Oh, you're you pop. I'll use the thing. That's all. Yeah, I see now. That makes more sense to me. That's cool. What is that? Petrified bone. Huh. So there used to be giants that... So there's all kinds of things that the gods have sent here over the years. And you kind of get that in the storyline. And, uh... So the crows will tell you about it, and they'll tell you, you know, you know, the gods have forsaken us. They sent all kind of things over the years, blah blah blah. But like the Jotun's bane, those were the axe you have. Mm -hmm. Giant's bane. So with these bones, bones petrify over time, right? Yeah. So if you harvest them, that is where you get black marble. Ah, oh, that's cool. Are you taking out it? Taking out the teeth? Right now, yeah. This this is what your throne is made out of. Oh, that's cool. I thought you might want to know where you got it, because you can use that to build a house. And you're right there. Okay, cool. What area is that at? I'm just exploring Mistlands, that's all. Oh, okay. I'm trying to find a mist area I like. For your house? Yeah, I was going to try to make a marble house. Nice. I figured I would do the barracks thing for everyone to have like a kind of a community place. Then I'd go fuck off to the mist land somewhere and build a marble house. I like that. Oh, I did the wrong thing. That makes more sense. I like that they give a story with uh, this shit instead of it just, you know, marbles lying there or yeah. 
skull and bones for no reason. Yeah. There's also um, ancient swords and armor and whatnot that you'll find, and they're all giant size. Like I'm standing on a giant ancient sword now. And if you or smack them and mine them like I just did the skull, you can get like copper and iron out of them. Huh. So you don't have to go. They try to make it a lower benefit, a cool graphic, and then a benefit that you don't always have to go back to your starting villages for some of the materials you need for like the old crafting benches, right? Right. So like when you were doing your new base, like, well, we can't transport iron, so we need to get you iron. Like, well, we're near a swamp, thank God. And then you're near a forest, so we can get you copper. But you still have to have those old materials to make some of the generics you're going to need. So they try to give you a way that you don't have to go failing constantly your new Mistland expansion. Go have fun. That's cool. Yeah, it is. It's always nice when they do different stories and stuff like this. Do you think they'll ever do like NPCs or anything? There are some NPCs. Oh yeah, I guess the uh, uh, sales. What's the merchant? Yeah, so they so he's a dwarf, and they've kind of added on to his storyline too. So that way, it wasn't just added to add. Um, for example. There's these dudes. They're a little hard to see. There we go. Yeah, he kind of looks like he's in the ground with a bow. Yep, little rogue, little dwarf rogue. That's all it is. That's cool. They're in the Mistlands. Um, they have little towers and shit too, like little bases of their own. Hmm. You help them defend it, and then they reward you, or is it? Uh, they're more just there, honestly. Um, and I think we're supposed to get an actual storyline quest from the Firelands. Oh, that's cool. They've okay. given her a name become a big thing because that's the first NPC quest line that they've added because hmm. they have such a base to build off of right so I mean yeah you figure with enough people that like the game enough um, base story that's or, or not, not even a story excuse me just a base game that's enjoyed in the little world that you're in but there's not really any quest. You know, that's never been a thing. So, it, it'll be interesting that they're adding it. I like it. Oh, here we go. This is one of the bug things you get to look for. It's a sea. Kind of looks like a dragon. It's it's choppy, but eager. They're just winged asshole insects <laughs> eventually if we ever kill the queen those raids you saw with all the other little creatures yeah yeah these these shitheads will come flying at your town oh wow so you get raids from all the different creatures once you start pissing them off kind of like ground it yeah it's depending which boss you killed determines which zones are available to raid you. It can still be the first zone, but once you started killing off the other bosses, you open yourself up to being raided by other biomes. I see. Like, we've technically killed the Elder in this game, so the most we can be raided by is the forest, and so we can get graylings, and we can get eggs and boars and necks. That's it. That's, that's really 
Oh, and giants. That one's kind of a specialty one. It's on its own. You'll see the words that the uh, ground begins to shake. Giants are trolls? Yep. Okay. So these, these are obviously actual giants, but they don't exist in the game anymore. They're here for the mechanic. But trolls are the ones where it's uh, the ground begins to shake. I was going to say, I think you guys said that last night with Peter. Pete got it, yeah. He was unlucky. It's not undoable by yourself. It's just annoying. Because it could be... <clears throat> it could be any troll. So it could be... Five two-star trolls. All with tree sticks. Like, it's... Kind of random how shit on you get. Funny, I keep hearing sword fighting. It's your screen. Oh, here. Let me close that. I'm not doing uh, Yeah, you're fine. I'm just mining. I think I'm going to go out here to the boat. I can see you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I moved my boat over here. It's not what I want. My first storm, now everything's going to get broken. Right, let's see what we got. And of course my hammer's broken. One day, one day I will fix this workbench. <laughs> I've been busy trying to get everything like laid out. I keep forgetting about doing it. You got to kind of force yourself to get the base part down and then you go from there. Yeah. Like I started it and then it was like, it's still not sheltered. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back to building my base or my dock. I should. 
that rat out of wood. I should build it. Okay. One thing I need to do is here at the top of the stairs. There we go. I put stairs under the ground. I keep forgetting to remove them or move the dirt around them, I guess. Cut down some of these trees. You're saying you can plant trees. That's pretty easy once you get a certain type of table. You just need a cultivator. And then you plant that around your house, or you can plant that anywhere? You should be able to plant them anywhere. Okay, cool. Cultivator. That's an item I hold. Mm-hmm. That makes more sense. Okay. Great. Worf, what's up? I was asking because now I don't mind taking down these trees up here. Because they look good with all the trees when it's dense. Yeah, you just need the birch seeds and oak seed. You know, like whatever kind of tree you want, though. Okay. Oaks are acorns, I think. There's birch, fir, beech. You can plant any of those. You can plant them in any region? As far as I know. Yeah. The, there's certain vegetables that only grow in certain biomes, which is why I have to have my barley farm where I had it, because yeah. it can only grow in the plains. Oh, okay. But you can grow it at your base. Wait, I saw your farm outside that we kept running through. That one is carrots and turnips because they can grow anywhere. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense. All right. I thought that was the barley. No, that, that one has to specifically be in the plains. So over by our original base, if you run into the plains area that's right next to the base. Mm-hmm first thing you're going to run into is a cultivated piece of land that's got barley growing. Uh, okay. Now... One of those there...
There, I fix everything. You happy, game? All right. We're going to enclose all this because of the weather. Let's see, where did I leave off? Fooling? What's a fooling? Are those goblins? Yeah. Fuelings are goblins. Their buttheads are laughing and they're destroying my stuff. So you know they're nearby, they giggle. Wow. Seriously, I'm stuck. buddy they dropped the black iron yeah the the black metal and coins oh they destroyed that quick they hit it a couple of times okay uh i'm by what say again i think you said i'm by something oh you need a blast furnace Normal furnace won't break apart their stuff. You need a blast furnace to break it apart. Oh, no. I was talking about how they uh, hit my deck a couple of times, a dock, and they d destroyed it. Oh, yeah. They hit pretty hard. That's all. So I need defenses, I need stone, huh? Or something. Uh, goblins are in the swamps. Plains. Plains, okay. Oh yeah, we're next to the plains over here. I think like 80% of the time I die, it's because of the fact that I slipped in the water and my sword, sword went away mm -hmm. and, and I'm trying to punch people.
That's coming along. All right, let's see what we want to do. What time do you normally get up? Four. Four. Nice. Yeah, I wasn't sure what time you were going to be up. If you were going to play game or not. Yeah, I said I was talking to Saxon about it. You work tonight? What's up? You work tonight? No. Nice. Sunday, Monday are my night out. Oh, Sunday, Monday. It'll eventually be Friday, Saturday, but we don't have the people for it yet. You guys still hiring, huh? Alright guys, you guys out here fighting, trying to get through my wall. Concentrating, huh? Yeah, I got hit by a tier two seeker. Hit me for a hundred and ten. Ow. Ran the fuck away. Hmm. I'm over here uh, fighting gray dwarfs and dying, and you're over there slaying seekers. Fucking hurts. I mainly came here for Marvel, but I saw a delve, so I figured I'd go try to get the uh, seal out of it. A tier two seeker told me to eat a dick. <laughs> uh, when something's broken, is it green? Or what color is it? Blue? Oh no, actually it has a bar. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I didn't know. I was going to say the green, blue, and whatnot should be its structural integrity. That's what that was. Okay. It'll have an actual health bar. I was like, man, they really damaged this, but they did, and what they did was, they it was the weather. That's so. Okay. You forgetting the weather? I'm trying to put a roof on this thing. I harp on that a lot. Yeah. 
Is there a way to use the core beams to build a roof on it? Or you have to have like a wall to build a roof on it? I mean, so I want to make sure I answer your question correctly. Yeah. The, the roofs are always made with wood, like generic wood. Yeah. But if you place a core beam, you can place something on it. Like, so if you want to put a roof piece on a core beam, that is doable. Is that what you mean? Yeah. So I can do a log beam, and I can do them across. Because I'm trying to keep it open instead of, like, it being, like, closed off in hallways. I can put beams across. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. I just need more core wood then. Cool. You can even make beams with logs. It all depends on the type of beam you want. So, generic um, wood will give you a square beam, mm -hmm. and the core wood will give you the sphere. Okay. So I can use this as well. Alright, I see. That's good to know. All right, I'm off to go get more wood then. Like I always am. There's the eternal struggle. Yep. At least it's fun doing it. I think they kind of know it's the eternal struggle. That's why the Elder, I think it is, it's, uh, it's power activation. Makes you chop wood like 60% better. Oh. I guess I should fight some of those bosses. I haven't found Modder or Ugolath or any of them yet. Not on this server. Just a little annoyed by these, uh... Ray dwarfs. There's a lot over here. All the time. Always. Yep. Come on, game. Why did you put blueberries on the side of the hill? Alright, I got them. I think I asked this before. Stumps do not grow back. Correct. Okay. Nope, if you want more trees, you have to plant them. Yeah, I'll get there. Do they take a long time to grow? Yes. I figured. This game doesn't like being nice. If you want to be ultra patient, you'll find out that uh, oak trees are hollow. Oak trees are hollow? On the inside, yeah, mechanically they are. Oh. And then, so what you can do, you plant an oak tree, then stand on its seed, literally wait there until it becomes a real tree. Uh-huh. You'll be inside the oak tree. 
Do you die? I mean, if you don't have materials on you, yes, but... That's funny. You can use it to... I mean, you can be cheeky with it. You can put a portal in there. And then you can build stairs in your oak tree. Climb to the top of your tree. Make a tree for it. That's cool. I'm guessing uh, oak trees are big. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very much so. And the other fun part, when you build something attached to a tree, the tree counts as ground. Huh. Start your base. Anything that touches the tree counts as ground. That's cool. Keep your structural integrity high. Hey, little fishy, what are you doing up there? Oh, those logs out there in the ocean are teasing me. Oh, the dwarves are fighting one of those flying fucks. Here's another thing you get to look forward to when you get out here. That thing. Let me see. <laughs> that was one big ugly thing. Looks like my penis. Should I go get it checked? Definitely. And these are ticks. The ticks will jump on you and start sucking your HP out. It fucking sucks. Oh, they're in the water too. Okay. They drop blood clots. That's something you can use to uh, bring your health up, I'm guessing? I think they're cooking materials. Okay. Oh, here comes more. Was that big thing a tick? No, it's got a weird name. Oh. I'm Bill or something. Yeah, it didn't show me anything. That's why I was curious. Yeah, I was. Little, I didn't want to be near it. It shoots fucking fire. Oh. Blobs fucking balls of fire. So. I uh, I usually try to stay away from it. I think it's a dead end. Ooh, I think you're a rib cage. Yeah. It's like, what are we talking about? Then I looked over and saw. That's my boat right up against your rib cage, good buddy. The Miss Lance. Do the Miss Lance have all the those giants? Um. That's that's the only place you'll find these bones. Okay, okay. Like you could obviously see how this guy died, right? Like so we got a rib cage here, right? Uh huh. The skull. Yeah. And then take a look what's here. Uh sword. That's cool. Right in his belly. Yeah. Yep. That's super cool. Yeah, this is a fucking jackpot. Yay. Oh, and here's his helmet that he was wearing. The ancient armor helmet. Oh, that's cool. Alright, I gotta go kill this tick. He's gonna ruin my mining experience here. And in case I lose it, which I don't think I will, but I've done dumber things. <laughs> that's all. That's half the time you're gonna spend in here. Fighting scary shit. Mining stuff, you know? Yeah. 
And it makes sense. Do this now. Does the weather come through your windows and damage your building? No, not really. Okay. You can leave the windows open. By the way, if you ever need to make your workbench usable, this is all you need to put up. One yeah. wall on this. Oh, sorry. One wall on the left of it, one wall on the right of it, and then a 26 degree roof on the left, 26 degree roof on the right. That's it. Uh, 26 degree. Huh. Okay. And you'll be able to use your workbench to fix your hammer as often as you'd like. I think I was messing up by doing the 45. Might work, but no, it wasn't. Oh, okay. A uh, bridge back here, will that be damaged with the weather? Anything that's not covered with the roof, that's wood outside, yeah. Anything. Okay. I'll have to redo this again. Okay. Uh... Another fun thing, when you start picking goals up, or taking apart skulls from these giants, I should say. Yeah. Um, giants used to be living, right? So they have brains. <laughs> oh, excuse me, brains. Oh, that's cool. 
So when you start going at them, you're going to find soft tissue. That's, that's actually really cool. I definitely find it interesting that they added that. Yeah. What a cool feature. Oh, you're shorter. Oh, there. That's not where I want to put you. To have more fun with it, when you start hammering your, or pickaxing your way through with it, all you hear is squishy, splatty sounds. That's cool. That's uneven. Okay, can I do this though? So we have we have these that connect. Okay. Do we have a flat roof? Not really, do we? There is not. That is sadly not a thing at all. Bummer. It is indeed. It makes roofing interesting. Yeah, it does. Something's uneven, probably because of how this is sitting up on the rock, but can't really tell. I think I'll do this.
fight each other like we always do, Dwarves. I don't know how you can throw it while you're swimming in the water. Come bring it. Come on. I'll even come over here for you guys. They just sit in the water and throw rocks. Yeah. A good tactic for them. You're near a bed, I built one, we can sleep so you can have rested. Um I am. I'm up the hill. I mean there is one up the hill. Let's let's do it. Why not? I need to go up there and see what I have anyways. I might have one. You're, you're uh you're building so uh stamina regen is good. Plus I'm smacking Bones, so stamina regen is good. Uh, rest it under a shelter, right? A bed is better. A uh, bed. Well, I mean, so rested, you get a little bit like while you're in a shelter. But if you go to sleep while under, uh, well, with any level of comfort period, you get a rested bonus. I should probably grab food while I'm up here and other things. So yeah, I can make a trip. Not that far. Let me just fight everything that comes towards me right now. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Yeah, I need to start learning recipes because all I've been eating is really meat. Okay, let me get up here. I'll be quiet, wolves. You're down there. We didn't train you. Oh, a little bit. I'm in bed. Mm -hmm. 
Alright. Hi ho, hi ho. Rack and skulls we go. Hmm. Metal scraps. Wood. Entails. You gotta, you gotta cook the fish a certain way, or can you just throw it on the fire? I, I mean, so if you're just cooking the fish, you can cook the fish on the fire. Oh, okay. If you're trying to do like a fish wrap or something, you gotta follow the recipe for it. All right, I think I'll all this. And I think I can take a little bit more. There we go. Cut this tree down while I'm up here. This is uneven because of the hill we built it on. Gotta hate it when your enemies are half buried when they die. I gotta fucking swim around and try to get all the bones in. Oh, that all broke. You have to do what? Ah, stupid giant skulls half underwater. Oh. So I'm pissing and moaning. No worries. I'm out of the water. You can piss and moan if you want. I'm trying to fix this stupid roof. Just because it was built on uneven ground.
that why? I just realized. Fuck. Fuck you, face. Fuck you. Thank you.
dollars. <clears throat> Don't pull a Kevin Dave, remember to keep. I'll try not to. Can't promise anything. Fucking died because you forgot to eat. All hi ho, hi ho, and I'm like, dooby dooby doo, just mine in, no big deal. Oh, I probably should eat. Then I hear three seekers coming down. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> just started running. <laughs> You were quiet there for a while. You were very focused. I I was. I was trying to think of how I'm going to get all this material out of here. And I remembered something I didn't do yesterday with you guys that I was going to show you. Uh oh. So there's only a certain amount of storage on a boat, right? Right. Okay. So... Show me a bit. Build on a boat, right? Right. Let me uh, let me look again. What am I looking at? Oh, little wagon. So I built a little wooden thing that goes over the boat. Built a cart on it. Broke the thing so it fell into the boat. And then what you do is when this gets filled up, you get little storage crates. That's cool. Now, actually, traveling with one of these is almost impossible. It rolls around, tries to fall out. It's awful. But what you can do is as you fill it up with your goodies, you'll see more and more of these little storage things appear. Mm -hmm. And then when all of those are there, you break the cart. <clears throat> and all the little storage things will fall to the ground. Now, they built that as a mechanic in case your card ever breaks while you're traveling around with it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, now it broke while you're traveling around with it. <laughs> it just happens to be in a boat. That's smart. That's cool. Fucking ocean. Alright, let's see what we have. Is that the same as this one? And then these are fixes. All right, let's see what we can. Oh, you know you want to work for me. Work it. There we go.
They send some wood. All right. down here, huh? Yeah, there's some wood. Oh, I jumped. He hit me. He almost got me out of the water. I hate that I can't swing underneath me with an axe. What's up? Uh, I was just trying to get wood. I was standing on it. And I was trying to get it in the water. I said I just hate the fact that I can't get, swing at wood when I'm looking down. The hole, you can't do anything while swimming things a pain. Yeah. I'm running into it with getting these stupid bones. I'm like, let me just swing down. Oh. I need to start doing figuring out light sources here. Let's 
All right, let's see. Anytime soon.
All right, back to mining. I was enjoying them. I got to find a way to get all these jerk phase bones out of the water. How do you feel about um, mining and picking the corpses of long dead giants? <laughs> Breaking the black marble. Comfortable and happy. Yeah. That is the best, best way to look.
It's cool. Real quick, one of the rallies I went to, when a woman kind of walked me through this, she brought out a Jumanji and came <laughs> together and started typing in my name, Trump's name. Hello again. All sorts of numbers. Hello again. We meet again. How are your thoughts on JFK Jr.? Uh, they're talking about <laughs> Qon, 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 and uh, JFK and um, how he was killed in 1999 and he's running for. Vice President uh, Donald Trump. It's the Daily Show. It's uh, Jordan Kipper. I don't know if you like him, but he um, he's just so funny because he pulls out how stupid that shit is. Oh yeah. So, um, I don't know much about it. I just was. Well, I go through the uh, YouTube every day, and I get bored of like Linus Tech Tips doing like mac stuff i'm like i don't really care so i like jordan and i clicked on him and so far it was entertaining but it's it's stuff i've heard from him over the years that trump was in office until now because it's the same shit and people are crazy oh yeah are you all about it um I think someone other than Biden would be good. The problem is uh, vote splitting. Yeah. They purposely do it. That's why uh, Kanye West ran. I, I mean, that's that's the downside, right? Like, so I don't want Trump. I mean, as a matter of fact, like almost anything other than Trump, just like last election, is a better bet, which is shitty, but it's it's what we got, right? Mm-hmm. So, like DeSantis or this new guy running against Trump, if that actually occurs, is ideal for me, personally, because I don't want Trump. Yeah. 
So the more we can split that vote, the better. I... The downside is, I don't necessarily want Biden either. But if we introduce a new candidate, we're running again at the idea of splitting the vote in the benefit of Trump. Yep. So, fuck. Exactly. It's, I'm eating dinner, so excuse me, but... um, You're perfectly fine. It's all a joke. It's, it's political landscape's a joke. We don't... We don't have a say, even though we vote and they, they do it. It's easily, it's easy to manipulate the voting. Uh, between fucking gerrymandering and everything else that goes on, it is absolutely, you're completely not wrong. Yeah. So, I agree with you on all that. I definitely don't want Trump, and the only reason I, I usually vote Democratic over the years since Bill Clinton, you know. Uh, Reagan did some good stuff, but then he also fucked it up. But all presidents have done that. Well, of course. Yeah. No, no one's been great. I mean, that's not true. No one's been perfect. But, um, Bush Sr. did okay. You know, but after Bush Jr. on, I haven't seen a Republican president that has been worthy. I, I concur. Um, I've been voting, and, you know, it's dumb that we live in a world where women hate women to run for president. It's this whole mindset of white people against white people going, you're better than me? How dare you? And it's like, you can't be the first woman. And I really think that's why she lost. And a lot of Republican men are like, don't vote for Hillary. Vote for Trump. Um. It's been a shit show since, even with Biden. It, it's, I don't know. I work with a fucking, a couple of coworkers that are just, it doesn't matter whose side, it's the Republican. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're in love with Trump. And I'm like, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. They're like, well, I mean, if we have Trump, we won't have World War Three. I was like, I, I feel that's completely the, the, the reversible. Like, I feel like if we get Trump, the chances increase. Yeah, like we've made more allies with our not necessarily enemies, but our our superpower rivals. Exactly. That's probably the better way to put it. Mm -hmm. Than we ever did, ever, ever. Now we were polite, and every other president showed respect. They made sure to keep them at bay and yet be polite to them so that we don't start a war because it doesn't benefit us. But with Trump, he's like, nah, fuck that. We're friends with them and fuck everyone else in NATO. And I'm like, oh, um, yeah, no, like we've been we've been building that relationship for fucking forever. Uh, and, and it wasn't until we had him that the the idea of the dollar started to become at threat which don't get me wrong we're past our time frame for being the controlling money on a global scale no one's ever held it for more than 100 years but we have now and anytime you start breaking into that territory you start running the risk of um change yeah which change isn't always bad but change can be dangerous and scary and rough and cause a lot of issues during its process of change. Yep. And depending on who you have in control during that change, it can be super fucking scary. Yeah. So, yeah, we're... Me and my coworkers are usually at a difference in a lot of it. Um, a coworker, Connor, is super into global events and politics and shit that's going on around the world, which is nice to have, honestly, because he's not a hardcore Trumpist either. He's very much into, like, he's just kind of curious what the whole world is going through. The other guy is not so much. He gives zero shits about the rest of the planet. He wants Murica, and I'm like, oh, God, it murders me every time we talk about this. <laughs> Fucking murder. Yeah. 
It's oh yeah. Hey, I I'm listening. We I agree with you. That's why we're friends. I don't, and I know there's no argument or anything, but I don't know what to say about the people you work with except for I'm sorry because. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a lot of idiots out there. It's it's a bummer, and like I still have to work with them. And as long as we're not talking politics, like there's there's lots of things we disagree on. But I don't generally usually view them as a bad person until we talk politics. Yeah. But I'm like, all right, like we we gotta stop. Like my respect for you just plummets every time we have these conversations. Yeah. Because like you talk to them, and I'm like, well, you don't seem like you're an idiot. You seem functional at this. You seem functional at that. We difference in opinions on a lot of things, but everyone should. Like, I don't think everyone should have the same opinion. We won't have any change. Mm -hmm. But sure as shit, the moment we start talking politics, like, he's Hispanic. And this is, the, this is the interesting part. Both the guys that are on our desk that are hardcore Trumpists, they're both Mexican. I'm like, okay. Like, you've heard the words he's spoken about Mexicans, right? Like, you're aware? Like, yeah, no, we're aware. We agree. So you're a rapist? Well, I'm not Mexican. I'm American. You, no. you know he wasn't classifying the difference, right? He wasn't only stating people from Mexico. And I was like, all right, well, let's 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 stick with your train of thought. All right, you're not Mexican. You're American. Therefore, you're not a rapist. But everyone in Mexico is a rapist. Isn't your grandma still in Mexico? That's different. Ow. Ow. Like, where's, where's the defining line? How, how do you get to be the exception? Yeah. Is, is Joe Bob's grandma over there a rapist because she still lives in Mexico? Like, come on. Like, yeah. You're not stupid. You know your grandma's not a rapist. Why would you even partially agree with this scenario? And let's, let's compare some numbers here. Like, um, I use neighborhood crime, uh, neighborhood crime to check out crime statistics of all the places I would like to move to and start doing research and etc. Yeah. And I was like, to be fair, our state, Colorado, we are some rapey motherfuckers. Yeah. If you look at our violent crimes, rapes and assaults are our highest. And rapes are pretty, like, we're 75% higher than the natural average. Wow. I was like, that's sad. <laughs> that's just sad. Yeah, it is. But, yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know. It's, you You have logic and common sense, and when you enter a debate, and that's always what's going to happen when you tell somebody about Trump, a uh, Trump supporter that Trump is wrong or Trump does bad things, you enter a debate automatically. And they're always going to just say whatever to get out of it, because they're not smart enough to understand or educate themselves to know any better what they are. And this is what's wrong with 20 brew. Great example in Colorado. There's too many sheep out there. And when you, yeah. when you finally stand up for yourself and say, man, I love 20 brew and I love drinking beer there. So many other people are like, well, I don't because there's no women there. I don't because there's no bug Cors Miller there. And so, that's the sheep mindset, you know, and I know a lot of people go, am I, am I have the imposter syndrome? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of Americans do. A lot of Americans try being something that they will never, ever be because they'll never, ever want to stand out and be, be it. And the thing is, is Trump is such a icon in American history. And there's so many people out there who say, do it. You know, if only if Trump could be cocaine, and everybody would be doing cocaine. You know, fifty more than 50% of the population would be doing cocaine. Uh, bestiality. If bestiality was Trump, everybody would be having sex with animals. It's so trendy and it's so popular. And it just makes me sick because those people I meet, I'm afraid to even ask people. Like, I met a girl last week. She came in, I think she's come in like four times and she goes, she go. I go Saturday and I go, Hey, I have the night off. I don't have Lucy. I don't usually get go out. Peter, do you want to go out? Uh, do you want to go out? Sophie and they're like, yeah. So 
All I was hearing was the guys be guys and the girls be girls. And I get so tired of that. You know, like, oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm a bad example, but yeah. I think she's hot. I'm gay. I'm bisexual, you know, from a girl. And she was drinking. And the guys, she was laying into what the guys were asking her. And they were like, oh, you're bisexual? Like, would you do her? And she's like, yeah. But the thing is, is that doesn't make her a bad person. What it is, is so many people do that. It just makes her a sad person because of the fact that he's playing that game that everybody wants. And I'm just like, I am so fucking bored right now. Uh, so I, that's how I feel about the politics and everything. That's fair. And it's it's unfortunate that it's, it is such a... To some people, it's real, right? Like, it is a real thing. Some people are. They find both people attractive. It is not a trend. But the fact that it is a trend means it's something that people have to be socially aware of. And because of that, there's so many people who may not actually be attracted to the other sex who are going to say it because it is the hip and interesting thing to do. Right. Right. Like, she was, she was probably being 100% honest, but I got tired of the guys being like, Ooh, you'd have sex with a girl? How would you? And she said something like, and like I said, it, I don't think it was really her. I just think it was the audience. But she said something where she was like, I'll, I'll sit on Dave's face. And all the guys were like, oh, would you sit on my face? And I'm like, so that to me, it's just that whole political landscape thing where it's like, people are so, yeah, it's like, it's just, it's so, it's like people say what they want to say. You would, I mean, people like to say it because they not do what they want to say because they like to polish it. You know what I mean? If you take Marcus, for example, he's the biggest Trump supporter that I've ever known. But I mean, I have to fall in love with him because of his stupid mommy Jean pants. I try and keep that hidden. What? So I try and keep that hidden, Dave. <laughs> secret, top secret between you and me. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows. Everyone knows. I, I hate to break it to you, Marcus. If you were actually a Trump supporter, you would have been offended by Dave making it.